Do you need to be a genius to start coding? Do you need to be good at math to become a programmer? This and five more myths that are stopping you from getting into coding. Hey, what's up guys, it's Kosim here. For the last three years of meeting many students here at Sideo, I have realized how many myths hold people back from just making a simple decision. Today, I will cover the top seven myths about coding and programming. Let's get right into it. Myth number one. You have to be good at mathematics to learn programming. To be a full-time programmer is not to be a gifted mathematician. You can still become a good programmer even if you just know basic algebra and statistics. You should have problem solving, analytical and logical thinking ability to learn to program and it has nothing to do with solving complex mathematical problems. Being good in mathematics can be a plus point, but you cannot judge someone's skill in programming based on their math skills. To solve math problems in programming, tons of libraries and plugins are available that you can directly use on your code. Overall, you don't need to know advanced math to become a programmer, but if you end up having to use it, it's due to either the nature of your employer or the project that landed on your desk, not the career as a whole. Myth number two. I'm too old to learn how to code. Let me tell you guys, age is never a factor to hold you back when learning anything, technical or otherwise. Coding is neither very easy nor something you cannot achieve with dedication. If you have the right attitude to learn to code and are willing to put the required effort, coding class can help you achieve the rest. I have seen people in their late 50s who just got into IT. Here at Sideo, we have 128 students, new students between 47 and 60 years old who have never coded before, successfully graduated and found a job. So if you are not retired yet, you can invest your time to learn the necessary tools and land a high paying job, maybe even six figures. Myth number three, you need to memorize all the syntax. When new programmers look at the thousands lines of code, they think that they need to remember all the syntax in programming language to be proficient. This is common misconception beginners have about programming. Beginners waste their time going back to all the lessons multiple times until or unless they don't memorize all the syntax. Well, it's impossible to memorize all of it. In programming, concepts are more important than, than syntax. And after uh, getting some more experience, when you write the same code again and again, you eventually start getting the syntax at your fingers. When you keep writing code, after some time you realize that uh, your, your brain automatically starts getting syntax without putting effort to memorize it. Remember, your brain is a fantastic computer machine. Myth number four, programming is boring. When you picture a programming, you see the awkward nerd sitting in front of the computer busy with some you know, complex, boring stuff. A lot of people have misconceptions that coding is boring and developers uh, have no creative skills. The best thing about coding is that it teaches you the art of thinking. When you build something from scratch, after a lot of struggle, you realize how amazing and exciting experience it was. The truth is that engineers love to express their creativity through programming. They break some complex problems into small pieces and then they enjoy solving those chunks using different methods. They don't get bored trying to solve complex problems. So no, it's not boring. It's actually a lot of fun once you start coding yourself. Myth number five, you cannot learn coding in few months. You don't always need years to learn to code, as some people think. It can just take a matter of months or just like at Sideo, just seven months to become a software developer in test if you are truly dedicated to your online coding lessons. Our curriculum is well paced and all we need from you is dedication and you can learn coding in seven months. That's a fact and link in the description. Don't forget it. Myth number six, you have to live in Silicon Valley. More high paying jobs are going to be remote by the end of this year, which is 2022. According to a study at Bloomberg, over one fourth of professional position, mostly in the United States, will be fully remote by the end of 2022. This is 18% increase from the end of 2021. Remote jobs are mainly growing in tech Fox roles, according to the study. So it doesn't matter if you are in a small town somewhere in Arizona or downtown Manhattan, all you need is a good access to the internet. 
That's all what you need. Myth number seven, you must have a university degree. Many people think that you cannot become a programmer without a computer science degree. Wrong. A lot of tech giant companies such as Google, IBM and Apple no longer ask for employees to have a college degree. A computer science degree might actually speed up your understanding in theories and concepts that help in picking up programming more easily. But today a lot of resources are available online to teach you programming. Here at Sideo we have many students who successfully graduated and landed a high paying jobs without any degrees. So if you want to start your IT career, don't fall into these myths and just start taking action. Let me say it one more time, start taking action. If you want to start your career in tech and land a six figure salary job, make sure to sign up for one of our programs below. So there you have it guys. Those are seven myths that I face a lot. Hopefully it was insightful for you. And if it was, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you have any question, please let me know.